In Creo Parametric, you can create a trim of a surface using its silhouette on a reference. Let me show you what I mean by this. Here I am in a part. I'm going to create a surface in here by sketching on the datum plane front. Let me go to my sketch view using the icon in the in graphics toolbar. Let me turn off my datum plane display for a moment. And I'm just going to sketch a spline. Let's click here, 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 and then about over there. Let's throw in a few different dimensions here. Let's make this 600. Let's make this other one over here 300. And I'm going to make this one 100. And let's just do an equal constraint between this dimension and this dimension over here. So that is good. Let me use my right mouse button to get to the check mark to get out of here. Let's turn our plane display back on again. I'm going to take that sketch and extrude it to generate a surface. Uh, let's make it symmetric with the 400. Hit the middle mouse button or the check mark, and there we have our surface. Let me turn off the display of a couple of these planes over here. Now I can create a trim using the silhouette of this surface on the datum plane right. Let's select the surface, and then we can click on the trim command. Here I have my references tab. Since I selected the quilt first, it's listed in here. The trimming object collector is active. Let's select the datum plane right. And if this was slicing through the surface, I could use the arrow to pick which side I want to keep or remove. To use a silhouette trim, you're going to click on this button in the ribbon. And when I click on that, you can see with the hatching, the silhouette that's going to be kept. Let's click on the eyeglasses to get the preview. So there we have the surface trimmed one way. Let's hit the play button to resume. The flip button allows us to keep the other portion instead. Let's hit the eyeglasses. And let's say I wanted to retain these two portions based on the projection or the silhouette of the surface on the datum plane called right. I just hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. And there we have the silhouette trim created. And if I go to view normal, there you can see the projection. Let's edit definition and flip it and then hit the middle mouse button. So again, there you see the, oops, let's hit the trim button, edit definition. And I accidentally selected to retain both portions. You can, there's a three way flip in the arrow, uh, but there's the other option. Let me click on the plane and then choose view normal from the mini toolbar. And there you can see the other projection on the datum plane right. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.